Guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome to this review of the Midnight Hawk decals from Deckles. If you didn't see it there, you'll see the name of it in the title. We are using the Mark uh, T1A Hawk by FX. This is the newest tooling. Now, there are two main toolings that you can get for, uh, from FX for the Hawk. I thoroughly recommend this one. This video is not going to be a review. It's not a double one like my uh, KP... Uh, Aero L39 is. This is a review of the decals only. I will touch on the construction, but this is not a primary focus on the uh, on the actual construction. I've got to build several of these, so you're probably going to start working out what some of my projects may be in the future. But right now, we're just focusing on the actual decals themselves and why the scheme has a significance to me, and just I guess why I chose to do this. So well, let's take a step back. When I was five years old, I got taken to my first air show in 1997. That air show was the Royal International Air Tattoo. That place holds a special place in my heart. You know, I was five, I was introduced to aviation or air shows. I grew up in an RF household, but this is the first time I'd really seen, you know, like actual aerobatics. <laughs> and it was an absolute wonderment to me. I'd never really seen display teams working that way. The Red Arrows, the Ukrainian Falcons, the Frecce Tricolori, I think Patrulla Aguila were there as well, and the iconic Irish Silver Swallows. I was really lucky to see them all. Fast forward 20 years, we're at 2017. The Midnight Hawks normally fly in a generic sort of grey scheme, it's just their normal training aircraft. They have coloured numbers on the tails, one, two, three, four, and seven is their backup aircraft. But for 2017, it was, I think, a hundred years since Rush uh, the independence of Finland from Russia. That's why you can see the cockpit here being painted this teal colour, because that's what I could find online for Finnish Hawks. So they decided to put on this like beautiful scheme. It was still quite basic. It was still overall great aircraft but they had on the air intakes they had sort of these Finnish flags that were almost like a triangular shape and then on the tail they had sort of white with blue on as if it was part of the Finnish flag and that had the number on. It was kind of basic but actually looked sick in real life. When I saw them uh, we'd only just got to the air show we were kind of late getting there and we were on the bus to get to the display line and unfortunately they like took off as I was running towards the display line. I mean like actually running. I know it's hard to imagine, I do run sometimes. I was running to the display line like holy shit. <laughs> and unfortunately they took off and I didn't get pictures of them but they look amazing, beautiful even. I was stunned. They just, against the grey clouds, the white stood out and you could tell they were from Finland. It was really cool. And that was 20 years of air shows with my father. My father's still with us at, at that time of recording. So I'm not recording it for that sort of reason. But it, you know, it still meant a lot to me. 20 years of going to air shows with someone who was absolutely incredible. Not only that, but this scheme, I guess, means a lot for Finnish people. That being sort of for their independence, the formation and foundation of their country and their cultural identity, or well, modern cultural identity, I guess, because it's within the last hundred years. And for that reason, I really wanted to make a good job of this. This wasn't for me like building the Red Arrows where it's just my country and it's just like, lol, I can build a hundred of these because they're available everywhere. This is something that was kind of special. So for both my ad and for Finland, I wanted to do a good job. Plus, one of my friends, Anna, who is in the Discord a lot and I play War Thunder with, check me out on stream as Mid Modeler on Twitch. But she, like, loves Finland. <laughs> so, there we go. <laughs> it was for her as well. <laughs> as you can see, we're sort of getting towards the end of the construction. And on the actual aircraft, they have these small, um, I guess, pods at the very end. So, there's like two sections where you can have underwing. Um, weapons or tanks holstered and on the finish in Midnight Hawks they have like smoke pods right at the end. I had nothing that was of good size so that was what I was using initially. Um, as you can see it's way too big. 
And what I ended up doing was I found something in a really old Airfix kit that I had. And I was like, cool, this looks a better size. Looking back, it's still probably too small. There was something slightly bigger I could have used. But I thought, you know what? <laughs> As you can see, I've just run off to find it. Actually, you can't see because I'm over the top of it. But I just ran off then. And I've got these old ones. I think, wow, these look way better. And when I actually have them on, and when I look at them on now, I'm like, yeah, actually, this doesn't look that bad. This is the only thing I wanted to highlight in construction, because if you buy this, these decals, make sure you have something to go in the wing. I probably could have bought something, but I wanted to make sure I used what I had, you know. So now we get to the actual review part of the, uh, the video, I guess, for what we've done so far. And this is building, like, the, actually putting on the decals, the decals from decals or decals from decals. And <laughs> you can see there's two sections there. There's a white underlay and an actual colour part. Now, this is the unique thing really with Deckles decals, is the white underlay. It's used so you put it underneath the actual colour part to make the, it pop and be vibrant and beautiful. And it genuinely does work. And I can say that having built, uh, I think, four aircraft at this point now with Deckles decals, and I've got like <laughs> several more to build. Um, it, it does really work, particularly if you're on darker colours. Um, I know I've had to put like a green on and a red on that were not particularly vibrant um, if I just layer them on themselves but when you use the white underneath it just gives you a perfect like canvas. You can also see that the bit on the tail is a bit longer. Now it's not perfect to size, I'm presuming this is because it can be used then on any Hawk kit. Now I estimated it based on pictures, in hindsight band of grey that I've got is too big, absolutely too big. Luckily it doesn't ruin the model but in hindsight if I could go back I definitely would have put it further forward and that's a recommendation for anyone else out there. It should literally be a sliver of grey but you know <laughs> we all make mistakes, we all live, we all learn and in the end I still could get very sexy looking aircraft. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I really like the end result that I got. So I'm not fussed. These bits on the air intake though are a bit weird. Because it's a curb surface, it doesn't want to sit flush. I was really, really worried about it actually. But in the end, with some decal set from Humbrol and some water, that's all I used to apply these, um, it wasn't too bad. They seem to go dry really, really flush. I don't think you'll notice, or it's already gone past, but there was a section where I was doing another model in between to allow them to sort of dry a little bit. So I could put the coloured ones over the top, but did the white ones first. What ended up happening as well was I was only going to do these and let them set, but I actually ended up just going ahead and finishing the whole model in one go. So over the course of a couple of hours, I made this model go from just being like a finish, maybe, to a finish perfection get it finished okay that joke was really bad i'm i'm sorry and i apologize to the nation of finland for that pun that people have been sent making since time in memoriam i also did actually break one of the decals so there's a bit with the um serial on on the in front of the cockpit just below the um non-reflective black surface and uh, yeah i may have lost that somehow i'm assuming my hand touched the surface and just sort of took that decal away. I ended up making it with a one from another serial code and the other two letters from another serial code. It looks fine. It doesn't look perfect because it never will, <laughs> but it looks fine. It looks passable to be honest. I really notice. There's one other really massive thing I need to point out here. There is a part of this aircraft where for whatever reason it seems like I pushed in really hard uh, when the plastic I've had glue on it or was really hot. Um, and it has been really, really hot here, so that wouldn't be a surprise. And it's basically <laughs> melted as like a, a thumbprint into the aircraft. It's not massively noticeable to the point where I didn't notice until I was actually painting it. But if you know it's there, you'll know it's there. So anyone who's seen it, congrats. I'm aware it's there. It looks shit, I know. But I, you know what, I'd already painted it. I didn't want to go back and then have to like redo it all. So I just left it as it was because to me it wasn't worth going back. All the little decals are actually really good. 
um, this is not going to have the pixel density uh, or DPI, I guess, printing of a, uh, a, a, a kit that comes uh, with decals. They're slightly lower quality, and that's entirely normal for sort of cottage or homebrew decal kits. It's unfortunate because in some instances it's like, oh, this doesn't quite look perfect. But to be honest, uh, hands up, I, I fucking love decals from, or decals from decals however you say it. Um, there's someone who did the SS de Portugal scheme because I asked them to like that. They're, they're an amazing uh, producer of decals in 172nd, 144th and 148 scales. So I'm not really going to complain because they are not a massive commercial enterprise. They are an individual making these for people like me who just love display schemes or unique, interesting subjects. So yeah. I'm not complaining whatsoever. So you're not actually going to see me quite finish this. There were some parts like the clear parts, the cockpit, uh, that I just didn't quite finish on stream. So I ended up finishing them on a lunch break. I did forget the clear parts in the cockpit and we're just going to gloss over that because I'm incredibly lazy and we know I'm not going to go back and fix that. I'm an average model maker, not a professional. So let's not lose sight of that. However, I'm really proud of this kit. I think it looks amazing. I'm really, really happy with it. It's on my shelf next to my yellow jacks gnat and I think it looks stunning. Please follow me on Twitch as Ms. Modeler for more aviation related content and model making. Join me. Bye.